Hi everybody. Um, I am on my way to the hospital. My husband was admitted, uh, this is Monday, so he was admitted Wednesday last week. And uh, it wasn't planned per se, but we were at his GP's office per instructions by his kidney doctor uh, because he has been suffering with hallucinations for the last probably month and a half, I want to say. And I've been working, of course, with his other doctor with it, and they just um, aren't going away. So he has, I'm going to kind of get going here. Uh, we were at his doctor's office, which is a good hour and a half from our house. All of his doctors are there because that's where he worked back, you know, when all of this kind of, when he was still working, he still had to go see these people. And uh, it was more convenient because one of the places he worked was really across the street from all of his doctors. So they have ruled out any medical explanation. Now my husband has a long history and I won't go into it here, but these hallucinations have been just, yeah. This psychosis that he gets in, you know, it's not like it ever goes away, it's 24 hours a day. And yet he has managed to cope with it without uh, freaking himself out. In a sense, he knows that it's not real, but he can touch, he can smell, he can feel pain. Uh, and it started out where he would see things, you know, outside the house that were going on, like they're getting ready for a Halloween fair. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, nothing's going on out there. I didn't understand what was going on either with him and um, I thought it was important that he know that these things that he's seeing while he's seeing them they aren't really happening um, but it's it's very difficult because he sees them clearly as plain as day so it started with that and it started with him seeing people in our house even like tradespeople. like did they hook up I see there's a couple guys that just walk by they're hooking up something you know like they look like they're from the internet companies and I said no honey there's nobody in the house and then it went to at night it would kind of amp up and he would see a couple people crawl around in the hall into his bedroom trying to scare him but then it started where he was seeing bugs and he would see them on him they would try to get in him um, he was it, it just started taking this turn where it got worse and worse oh, and these bugs could be all the way to very long worms and then they turn into worms and all different sizes About this time when I called his doctor again and I said okay this is what's happening now and uh, so that was why we ended up going to the doctor and then across the street from the doctor is actually the ER and she said you know we have got to diagnose this I can't give him something without knowing what is going on so that's why he's been in the hospital and I will connect with you here in a minute I have to get some gas in my car hey my husband had re has been requesting actually for about two days for some mini pretzels and thank the the Lord and their little mini mart. They had every kind of pretzel and I was panicking. It's like, oh my God. Well, I found some. So I got bought, I bought three little bags. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this. <laughs> do you guys get totally freaked out when I drive? I bet you do. North. To be, to be totally honest, I couldn't talk about this when it first happened. I just was too, too upset because uh, they, they ruled out any medical explanation, anything medical that they could possibly treat to make this go away, they ruled that, that out through various tests, MRI, CT scan, blood work. They made him wear an EEG for a day and a half and stuff like that. They can rule out little seizure strokes, metabolic issues, um, him being on dialysis, you know, they wanna make sure his electrolytes are good. And I, I knew they were because once a month we get blood work from the kidney center. We go to the kidney center every single once a month and they draw blood and they give him iron and they give him anything that he needs basically to keep that metabolic, those metabolic 
sort of numbers and even mixture is phosphorus, is potassium. Uh, everything is, you know, if his potassium is super low, then we take a potassium, he takes a potassium supplement. Um, 24 miles. We just, we just came off it because it finally was getting a little, going a little high. Uh, phosphorus we're always struggling with but anyway I knew that it was anything like that but they still have to you know they, they still have to do that so they ruled anything out like that now so everything seems to be pointing to Louis body dementia and that is a hard one to concrete like really die to put a diagnose to I guess it's it's difficult but with history you know Louis body dementia you do suffer from these very detailed hallucinations and the peculiar thing, you know, of, that he's experiencing in that he isn't completely out of control with horror. It's like he knows they're not real. However, they're very real. You know, and he kind of goes in and out of that. He's like, I can't believe you can't see this. But it's enough to where it keeps him grounded, I guess, for lack of a better word. And they said that is very much what the hallucination, kind of that mindset for people that, that experience him with the Louis body dementia as part of that type of dementia. Um, it's also, I guess, the most common for diabetics. Someone who's got advanced, has, is, it, is in advanced state of all those horrible things that diabetics can experience if they kind of allow and ignore, you know, all, all the years. Um, so I, I plead to any of you out there have been ignoring your diabetes. Uh, please don't. Please don't. Anyway, um, so that that seems to be where it has all led is uh, the the Louis body dementia. Like what what has transpired this last week? So today is Monday. You'll be seeing this vlog coming up Sunday. Oh, I was touching on that. I, you probably think it's weird. Uh, you know, I need my YouTube channel to keep me grounded, to keep me um, it's sort of decompress in the end. It allows me to throw myself into projects so I can sort of let this fall off, you know, in my head, <laughs> you know, and it's, a, it's, it's nothing that's hurting anybody. It's just a, a way for me to, to deal with all of it, really. So, you know, anyway, I, I've touched on this before in my vlogs, and I'm not going to be touching on any of this in any other format on my channel, except for you might hear me talk time to time about it. You guys were so very supportive and, and um, boy, I really appreciate you guys out there. Anyway, if, if I were to talk about this in the future, it will be in one of these because um, I feel like it's it's almost a different segment of people who watch my channel tend to tune in to, the, to these. I'm really doubting that I should have more contacts. I don't know. I'm starting to kind of feel a little woozy. Great. I do have my glasses with me in case I do need to just take out my contacts. I don't think they've dialed that prescription in quite correctly, quite yet, with my contacts. I don't know. So I may be taking those out. The, uh, the Aricept medicine is uh, something that they prescribe to people with Alzheimer's, and there is some evidence and documentation or studies that do point to the fact that sometimes it can help some with the hallucinations. If it doesn't help them go away, it can maybe lessen them, the intensity and whatnot. And he's only taken it for two nights now. And I feel like it has helped. The first night, I feel like it helped a lot. Um, last night, he said, uh, uh, he, cause I, it also seemed to be helping him sleep better. And it's been making him feel better during the day, remarkably, like, noticeably. Even he's like, man, I feel wonderful. Well, I think it's because he was allowed to sleep. Um, the other thing Louis body dementia interferes with is that REM cycle. So I don't think he has been sleeping well for a very long time. Um, 
So, uh, so I did notice that. And, and last night, it, it sounded like he didn't have quite the same kind of effect. But um, I hope they decide not to take him off it. I think he said it can take several days before we can see really, and then he may uh, increase the dose because he started him very low or take him off it. But he told me he probably would recommend not going off it because it also the main the main reason uh, they go on this medicine is because it can help the brain chemistry, it can help the brain health, sort of, you know. Um, so it could be long-term a good thing to kind of maybe hold off the decline. Kind of, it's not gonna stop it, it's a degenerative, unfortunately, a degenerative disease, but. So, um, anyway, uh, you know, there, we do have some pop hope it, it might help him. So he's supposed to perhaps come home today. We'll see. We'll see. I think they're, they've run out of reasons to really keep him in there. And everybody was ready to let him go except for the psychiatric doctor who's the one who prescribed him this medicine. Said, well, we'll see. I don't know what's going on there. but Anyway, yeah, I, um, I find myself getting ready, you know, putting my makeup on during this because it is very, um, I wake up with a lot of anxiety and sitting there trying to calm myself, allow myself to, to do my face, put my makeup on is a, has been a very therapeutic, relaxing way to start the day. And then I get some hair on and it allows me to face the day in a better state of mind, I think, and then I head out the door and spend all day at the hospital, you know, and I leave. Pretty, uh, the, the visiting hours there end at 7, so I, I get there. I allow myself the morning to just relax, drink my coffee, relax a little, watch a little TV, then I'll jump in the shower, get ready. So I get there in the afternoon and I stay till seven and I just think that works the best. Plus the traffic I think is best when I do that as well. Anytime you go north, today's Monday, it's gonna be terrible coming home no matter what time I come home. So anyway, yeah, and that, that really is kind of what I get out of my channel as well. I'm going to let you go and um, we'll meet up. There are uh, some videos I, I really hope I'm in the mindset. <laughs> I have not been in the mindset to record anything up until now. Just trying to take it all in. Had a little bit of a breakdown yesterday with my son. Uh, well, actually before my son got there and then he noticed that I didn't look right. That little turd and So I, it didn't sink in really until, uh, funny enough, I was trying to start the lawnmower because we live, we have an HOA and I'm like, they're going to start worrying, warning me I haven't been able to get out to mow the lawn. And I uh, couldn't start up the lawnmower even though I had my son a week ago get some new gas for me. I thought that was it. No, that wasn't it. So, uh... So I couldn't start it. I think that was the last straw. It just, I got frustrated and then everything came out yesterday and I allowed myself a very good cry. Nobody was there. I freaked out my cat. I, my cat has never seen that emotion before. And she looked at me and was petrified and she ended up, she ended up uh, hiding underneath the couch. But poor thing. Oh gosh, Buddy was the one who came up, was like, what's happening mom? And, and tried to lick me a couple times and, and Loki was just like, whatever. You know, he was like, I'm gonna put you on this bone. He could almost care less. But, uh, so, yeah, I, I think it all set in yesterday. It's been a long road this last 2021 and into this year as well. We're gonna get through this. We will. I've got my kids. My kids have all of each other and, and everything. I, I feel mostly for my children, to be honest. And I 
I'm so sad they have to go through this. Anyway, all right, I'll, I'll connect with you soon. Hi guys, I just finished recording a wig chat for this one here. If you watch my wig chats, you've already caught it. I want to say it hit probably Tuesday or Wednesday, somewhere in there, but I'll put the link to it down below in the description box. If you haven't, you can click on it or it may even come up at the very end of this video, but that's not why I decided to turn on the camera <laughs> or re-turn on the camera. So Saturday, I'm actually, this is probably cold. I made it right before I decided to do my wig chat. Now it's cold, but this is my coffee. Hold on. It is cold, but it's still good. Um, I'm gonna, okay. So because of uh, my oldest daughter, Jasanna and her husband months back, weren't, they didn't realize that they booked a trip of theirs over Mother's Day, Mother Day, Mother's Day weekend. So they're like, can we celebrate Mother's Day this last weekend? So today's Monday and Saturday, that's what we did. And I said, I don't, I don't care when we celebrate. I just want all my kids in the same house at the same time. That's, that's what makes me happy. So that's what we did. So Saturday, day before yesterday, we celebrated Mother's Day. Well, my son, he got me this adorable coffee cup. It's Winnie the Pooh. Look, the front is Winnie the Pooh. And then the back is the back of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet so cute so i have been drinking my coffee in this since then and if you know me you know i've had more than one cup for sure and my daughter jessanne got me oh well actually she got me two sort of special edition tom ford lipsticks okay i've only had one tom ford lipstick in my entire life i've not splurged and got any others but they don't even make this color anymore i don't think and I've had this for a very long time. I mean, that's it. That's all I have left in this. And this is, called I love this color. So when I looked for it for a link, because I did a uh, makeup tutorial and wanted to link it, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I think it's discontinued. Anyway, any nude, uh, this, okay, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm so excited. She got me two, but this is the one of them. Look at this, you guys. Now, Hold on, I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. It's a little stained on this side. Look at this thing. Can you see the, the sparkle on this? I gasped when I saw this. So this doesn't just have the sparkle for looks. That sparkle is throughout this lip balm. It's considered a lip balm. But as you can tell, because you can see how it's tinted, I put it over the top of my nude lip glosses. You could put them, I mean lipsticks, you could put it over the top of any lipstick, but I've been doing nude because I don't want to stain it too awful much. It's just so dang pretty. I just don't need, I didn't, I, it's, it's one of those things you're like, do I even want to use this? It's so pretty, but of course I'm going to use it. So this is one of them they got, and that's what I have on my lips right now, but I'm going to do this over because I just want you to see how pretty this is. Okay, so I did contour my lips and you've seen me do that in a couple of videos, but I, um, I'm just going to re-line a little bit. What did I, oh, okay. I, I do kind of change things around when I do wig chat, so I need to get my, my little five times mirror up here. So... Hmm, I can still see the sparkle. Just a, a little tiny little bit of lining. Don't have to go crazy there. Okay, so I am going to use my Tom Ford. I'm keeping with the theme. This is the only, and you know, of Tom Ford. The only one I have, so I'm sorry, but use your favorite nude lipstick. I think this is probably my favorite and then you grab this both my daughters were telling me because I guess this like trended on TikTok or something that uh, be careful because it does break easily so you know I'm not going to do this and then go for it I'm just going to get what I need and um, 
just watch how pretty this is. So while it is subtle, it does something. I mean, yes, you know, there are, there are sparkles. I don't know. It like, it does this magical, milky, diamondy, dusty thing. It just sort of transforms that nude color that you have on. And it is, it's like this milky diamond dust thing that happens. I am in love with it. I'm I'm actually obsessed with it. So gorgeous. The other one, the other one is this one here. And I will put the names because I, I cannot read this to save my life. So this one is interesting. This is again, these are special editions. This one's a little stained as well, but this one adjusts and creates a pink tone depending on you. So my guess is probably that it's going to adjust depending on your pH because that's the only way that I know that those different products work. But I was afraid it was going to turn orange because anything that does that, like if, if they say, you know, just it, it'll adjust to you specifically, you'll have your own color, it, no matter if it's blush or some sort of tinted foundation that'll adjust or whatever. It usually turns a color that I'm not too fond of. This one, though, is really pretty, and it did look very different on all three of us. Um, so let me let me take this off. Oh God, I just think this is so pretty. Oh, I still have the sparkles. Oh, the sparkles are still there. I love it. Okay, so this will be a little sparkly then, but um, so let me go ahead and put this on. definitely not orange and you know I put it on pretty heavy you don't have to do that but it just gives really sort of a tinted balm kind of look and I don't know it's sort of this really bright pink I think it's really great for spring and summer and I, I'm just thrilled with those very pretty so maybe over the top I'll put this <laughs> Oh, see, it just, I don't know. It does this. Mm. It does this milky diamondy thing. I don't know. I'm going to put the, the nude one back on. Just because, you know, I designed my look around it. <laughs> oh, yes, it's going to happen. Something like this excites me, honestly. Now I'm going to put put some of it on my cup. <laughs> anyway, had a really, a super nice day on Saturday. Oh my gosh, you know, we live to have all our kids under the same roof and each of them have their own lives. My son does still live with us, but he's, he's barely here. You know, he's living his life. And uh, my other two are married, and my oldest daughter, Jasan, lives in Oregon. So she's within, a, you know, within probably what, two and, a, two and a half hours or so from us. So it's not like she's states away. She's one state down, but still, um, unless they live on the same block as me, I think they're too far. <laughs> Isn't that the dream? That's my dream. Never going to happen. But so having them all here was great. Um, it, was, it was wonderful. Um, like my son and Hannah, they were on the floor playing Kingdom of Hearts, which is a video game, like a Disney video game. And just hearing them, it was nostalgic for them, too, because they grew up playing that. And they had recently, you know, it had been, there was like a new release. It's been out for a while, probably about a year. But so they were playing that, hearing them laugh and have fun and, and you know, remembering like the old Kingdom of Hearts. And, and then 
all three of them were in the kitchen talking because uh, Shane, my son, and his girlfriend have been wanting to watch some anime. I mean, my kids grew up with anime. And so he's like, yeah, I think we're going to start to watch Sailor Moon, you know. And so they, they were talking about that. And it was just it just cracked me up. And it was wonderful. And just Sam, who's 31, and Hannah is 28. And so they're like, oh, my gosh, you know what you need to watch. And then Jesse was like, what was the one? Which, and Hannah's like, oh, my gosh, that is the best. I love it. And they were just going back and forth. And Shane was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to watch that. And it, it was just the best. It was the best Mother's Day. I, I just, I needed that. My husband needed that, you know. By the way, and I'm not sure, you know, I never know, um, when I do these vlogs, you know, I record a lot of different things. And so a lot of it's on my phone. Some of it's on my camera. It just depends on what happens. And so I'll have a lot of footage and a lot of it doesn't even make it in my vlog. So I'm not sure if I'm going to, if I put, um, you know, I was driving to the hospital, going to pick up my husband from the hospital. I'm not sure I put that in this one or not. But for those of you that caught the blip um, in the community page of my YouTube, letting you know why I wasn't able to get any kind of video up the week before, because my husband was in the hospital. Anyway, uh, so he's doing much better. The Aricept is doing a very good job. So this medicine doesn't, this medication, it, it wasn't created to stop hallucinations or to help hallucinations, but because of what it does, there is documentation and studies that do show that it can minimize or help or even do away with hallucinations. So that's what we were hoping for. What I have noticed is a definite decline, which he has too, definite decline in the hallucinations, but I'm seeing huge improvements in that cognitive function. He now is reinterested in working on his Legos. He can cook. I am seeing that the processes in the brain are lining up and he can do these tasks. He's talking normal. So I'm seeing a lot of improvement and that is so amazing, very promising, and all of us um, can see it. And I know for my kids, it was great to see their dad yesterday because it gave them a sense of relief. And I know they were having a lot of anxiety as well as I as to what in the world is going on. So although the Louis de body dementia is devastating, um, it's progressive. They don't have a cure for it. It's degenerative. It's going to get worse through time. But uh, this medicine kind of slows that process down and we're seeing good results. So we have to focus on the positives, you know. He's feeling so much better. I mean, feeling so much better. He's peppier. He's, I'm seeing a big difference. And because he's cognitively more clear and he's having more clarity, he's able to deal with the hallucinations on a much better level level. Yeah. I'll keep you updated. I'm so far so good. We double the dose on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So he takes it at night. So starting Wednesday night, we double the dose and we'll see how it goes. If he does better with the lower dose, then we'll just keep him there. What I'm hoping is doubling it up may make the hallucinations just go away. That's what I'm hoping. But I know that this progression has been, you know, it takes all of these days basically for us to get to this point so we'll have to do that double dose over a series of days and see see what comes of that so keep your fingers crossed for us and i also want to thank you so much for your well wishes your prayers your good vibes all of that positive stuff just came at me when i did post a little update on my community page on my youtube channel so on my youtube landing page um i want to thank you all so much for that i'm i'm big on sort of putting getting back from the universe all of that and it's very real very powerful and um i just want to thank you you guys are amazing thank you all right so i'm not sure what we're going to have next on our vlog in case this is the last thing you see i'm gonna say goodbye and i will see you guys very soon in my next video and be on the lookout because my lord, I just got 
two more wigs that I don't even know what they are. I'm, I'm not sure what they sent me and I just signed for it in the middle of filming my wig chat. I had to pause everything and I and answer the door. I know there's two more because I know what that box looks like when there's two. Very excited to see what's in there. I have three then, that makes three. Two that I just got, one more that I have sitting over here that I need to do. So I'm a little behind, I better get to it. All right, I'm not sure I'm gonna see you. If I don't, I'm gonna say goodbye. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.